everybody, welcome back to music for this week. First thing we're going to do before our singing lesson today is warm up, just like we do all the time. I'm going to teach you a little bit more of that breakfast song, but before we do that, we've got to warm up our mouths. So first thing I'd like you to do is A, E, I, O, U. Okay, and now we're going to try and blend all those vowels listening to us where it goes like this. A O. What I don't want to hear is any y sounds. We don't want to individually pronounce our vowels. We need to blend them all into one. Let's listen again. A O. You'll go. A O. And you should really feel your mouth go in between every single vowel shape. Let's. We're gonna go up, up, and up, and up again. Okay. So we're gonna go. A O. We step up, a o, a o, a o, a o, a o, a o, a o. Last one. Amazing. Okay, my mouth is nice and stretched, but I do need to do some lip trills to make sure that my uh, lips are nice and warm as well. Let's go back to that tune that we did last time. Can you remember it? Okay. It goes. Do it with me, ready? Keep going. from your lowest note all the way up to your highest note. I'm going to go with you. Let's go. Amazing. Okay, my lips feel really tingly and itchy. It's definitely time for our little warm-up tongue twister brain work. Okay, we know the first part of our breakfast song. Let's sing that all together when it's time for breakfast. I like toast and marmalade. Ready? Oh, one, two, three, four. When it's time for breakfast, I like toast and marmalade. Toast and marmalade, toast and marmalade. When it's time for breakfast, I like toast and marmalade. That's how I start my day. I want you to really make sure when you are singing this song that you're pronouncing all your words really clearly, especially your T's and your S's and your D's. Let's sing it like Mary Poppins would sing it. Are you ready? Just start a little bit higher as well. When it's time for breakfast, I like ready one. Don't like Mary Poppins when it's time for breakfast. I like toast and marmalade, toast and marmalade, toast and marmalade. When it's time for breakfast, I like toast and marmalade. That's how I start my day. Fantastic. Let's do a really silly one. Let's sing it like a pirate. Are you ready? Ready? <laughs> Let's go. When it's time for breakfast, I like toast and marmalade, toast and marmalade, toast and marmalade. When it's time for breakfast, I like toast and marmalade. That's how I start my day. Amazing. I'm not sure if that was very pirate-like on my behalf, but I'm sure you did a much better job than I did. We can learn the next part of that very, very silly breakfast song, OK? It goes like this. Just a cup of tea, your gut. Just a cup of tea. Excellent. The next words are, that's all right for me. That's all right for me. Easy peasy. So, from the beginning of that bit, it goes, just a cup of tea. That's all right for me. That's all right for me. And I'm making sure every time I say E, I'm lifting my cheekbones and I'm taking a big bite of that apple. Watch again. Just a cup of tea rather than tea. I want tea. Everyone imagine that you are smiling through a camera and you're going cheese. Amazing. So I want just a cup of tea. Amazing. Let's try and resist the temptation to take that E sound up into our nose. I don't want to hear E. I would like to hear 
E. My voice is down here. It's not in my nose. OK, sing it with me. One, two, three, four. Just a cup of tea. That's all right for me. That's all right for me. Excellent. Do it that way. One, two, three, four. Just a cup. Fantastic. Off we've gone. That's all right for me. We have a little aside. We go with milk and sugar. Exactly. That whole bit then sounds like this, listening to Miss Webster. Just a cup of tea. That's all right for me. That's all right for me. With milk and sugar, you'll go. Here we go. Just a cup of tea. That's all right for me. That's all right for me. With milk and sugar, just you on your own. Just a cup. Amazing. Rounding off the phrase goes, just a cup of tea. That's all right for me. That's all right for me. And then we don't do the aside bit the second time. OK, that whole bit then sounds like this, listening to Miss Webster. Just a cup of tea. That's all right for me. That's all right for me. With milk and sugar. Just a cup of tea. That's all right for me. That's all right for me. Amazing. Do that without me. Ready? One, two, three, four. Just a cup. Milk and sugar, just a cup. You got it! Amazing! When we do this uh, warm up all in person, those two bits can cross over each other. So, what I'd like you to do is really practice that just a cup of tea this week, and next week you're going to try and sing it over me singing the other bit. It's going to be very confusing, but it will sound absolutely awesome! So, well done, I feel nice and warm. I'm ready to sing over to Miss Webster from the future by the piano. Year six, welcome back. We've got a different background today. Um, what we're going to do today is we're going to carry on learning something just like this, but we're going to learn it only with the backing track. And that's because um, when I've been looking at you uh, on Seesaw with your wonderful uploads, some of us are getting like a little bit confused about where to come in with the track and how your voice like fits and sits within the track. So. We're just going to do it with the track today to make sure we can iron out all those problems for you. OK, let's then we've already warmed up. So let's run through something just like this. As far as we know, I'm going to put the words on the screen. Obviously, the words on the screen that I'm going to show you have also got today's words. in. let's have a look at those now so we're not getting super duper confused. You can see that we've got verse one and the bridge, which we know, and the chorus. I've added in verse two there. We're not going to sing that just yet. So what I want to hear is verse one, the bridge and the chorus. With the backing track, you're going to sing it with me. Ready to come in? Ready? Amazing. Do it without me singing. I'm just going to bring you in. Amazing. OK, we'll carry on. And Superman unrolls. Once more, and Superman unrolls. Good. A suit before he lifts. Amazing, that whole line goes. And Superman unrolls. A suit before he lifts. You'll go. Superman unrolls. A suit before he lifts. Good, carrying on. But I'm not the kind of person that it fits. Really hard because we want to go. And clearly I don't see. Yeah, quicker. But it is. But I'm not the kind of person that it fits. You go. But I'm not the kind of person that it fits. Good. Let's do that whole verse all together. Ready? I've been reading books of old, the legends and the myths, the testaments they told, the moon and its eclipse, and Superman unrolls a suit before he lifts. But I'm not the kind of person that it fits. So after after lifts, a suit before he lifts. Two, three, 
four, but I'm not the kind of person that it fits. Okay, just do that. And Superman unrolls a suit before he lifts. Two, three, four, but I'm not the kind of person that it fits. Count on your fingers if it helps, yeah? Do it all together, that last little bit again. And Superman unrolls a suit before he lifts. Two, but I'm not the kind of person that it fits. And do it without me. One, two, and Superman and Rolls. One, two, three, four. But I'm not. Fantastic. Okay, let's do that whole verse then into the pre chorus, into the chorus. So after we've gone, but I'm not the kind of person that it fits, we go. She said, Where do you want to go? How much you want to risk? Etc., etc., all the way to the end of the chorus. Let's go for it. See what happens. Really hard to work out. on the first time round. So we've gone, second time round it goes, some superhero, some fairy tale bliss, just something I can turn to, somebody I can miss. And then we are just skipping to the last part of the chorus. Oh, I want something just like this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I want something just like this. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. One last time all together, then you're on your own. You're going to smash it. Lily, I 
Right, you're definitely on your own this time. You don't need me. I'm just going to bring you in. Let's go. Ready? Here we go. Dive in. I've seen people doing on Seesaw that I've commented on that I just want to share with everybody because I assume that a few of us are making similar mistakes at home. The first thing that I'm hearing quite a lot is people not ending their phrase. For example, when we're going, oh, I want something just like this. Yeah, I really want to hear the end as much as I want to hear the beginning of that line. And it's really hard because as we get to the end of the line, we start to run out of breath. So it all comes from your diaphragm breathing. However, what I don't want to hear is, I want something just like this. Oh, I want something just like this. Yeah, it kind of like runs out of energy. So we need to keep up the energy and the pace and the attack all the way to the end of each line. Okay, one little tip that I had. And the other little tip that I had is on that do 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 do. Do, 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 do. If you're a bit scared or worried about the tune and the rhythm, it's actually played in the guitar part on the track. So you can hear the electric guitar being like, me, 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 me. So you've just got to sing along with them and it's easy peasy. Those are the kind of main two points that I've been hearing. I would absolutely love to hear you singing along and see so like normal, the backing track's up, the lyrics are up, the normal track is up. And I will see you next week for more singing and more dance lessons. Well done, everybody. <laughs>